like Zoinks. This is some pretty good tea. If you want your own groovy anime-inspired tea, then head on over to thedragonstreasure.com and use coupon code PROANON to get 10% off your order, man. That's coupon code P-R-O-A-N-O-N. Drip. Drip. One, two, three, drip. 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 One, two, three, drip. Drip. Hello everyone, welcome back to the Pro Anon Podcast. Uh, here we have first Sean Don. A real episode, maybe, perhaps, question mark? The real thing is, the homework is done, ladies and gentlemen. Woo! Homework is done. We don't know if this episode is going to be released, because as you can see in the channel, the latest episode was just a music video that Nonibra and I made, uh, because the episode was just so... Sh- but, <laughs> uh, uh, but anyways, we have our, our next trooper, Kajero Bitherthorn. Hey, hey, Eliezer. Hey, Eliezer, yeah. hey. Uh, uh, hey. Yeah. Oh, oh, not, not again with the voices, no. Hey. No, Chocomoto is here. Uh, hello, everybody. You know, the, the podcast needed, you know, a Zoomer representation, so they got me on some new, some new young blood. How old do you think I am, Choco? How old do you think... How old I think you are? Yeah. I think you're like... uh, Around like 22, 23, I think so. (laughs) I'm 19. (laughs) (laughs) Whoa. She's like... Well, well, Eliza, you know, you you like you really love the Beatles, so I, I, we all just assumed you're like thirty. You might as well be like forty if you like the Beatles. You know? <laughs> yeah, I really like to sleep. I like I take a nap at six p.m. So I, I I'm basically dead. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What's the cutoff? Okay. You think for you guys just cutoff age? What? Yeah, for a Zoomer cutoff. Oh no, Zoomer I'm tw- has I'm to twenty. Be- Right. I mean, yeah. technically, the Zoomer yeah. the Zoomer cutoff is like people people who are turning like, twenty five this year are the oldest Zoomers. Yeah. So, but like, yeah. mm-hmm. I feel like Zoomer is just like a term, just like a like a like, buzz for buzzword for like young people, like teen, young blood. From I mean, from twenty five <laughs> to thirty, like it's a it's a progress slowly turning from a Zoomer to a Doomer. So yeah. true. Okay, wait, Choco, before anything, Chocomoro, introduce yourself to the audience, please. Who are you? Who are you? Why should we care about why, whatever you say? Uh, you know, um, Chocomoto, um, these guys, you know, I was in the I was in the Discord and these guys thought I was a cool, cool young duck guy and so they wanted me on the <laughs> Literally true. Yeah, literally true. <laughs> um <laughs> You see what yeah. could happen to you if you're in our Discord and a cool kid. You, you could be me, just be Listen, cool. listener. You could be like me. You you could be like me. Probably the only reasonable thing that Ben saying there was no wait it wasn't Ben saying it was Jesse who said I'm just being cool. Like yes. that's that's a yeah, really no, that, good way that's of living. Jesse's. That's Jesse. Just Ben, like at the capitalist, he's capitalized on it. Ah. <sighs> Anyways, um, uh, we have nothing to say. <laughs> Does anyone have <laughs> anything it? to say? Uh, Choco, I have, I have a thing young I blood. Oh, oh good, Sean. Get the ball rolling. We'll, uh, we'll join. So I already inquired Kajora about this just a tad, but I feel extremely oh. on edge about I a certain topic. And Better not be fucking talk. Yeah, it's the talk. fact that... Kingdom Hearts is coming to PC, which you think at first would be a good thing. You think it would be a good thing, but it's coming to the Epic Game Store, which is so fucking cringe. <laughs> Explain yourself right now. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, wait. <laughs> I, I, I'm no, li- I can... I'm literally cringing with what you're no, saying. No, 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 no. Eliezer, wait, I can translate this into a context. Eliezer will give yes, a shit about Yes, please, please. Eliezer, what do you think of like you know how like music uh, different music platforms like spotify yeah and, like, like yes the other ones cringe cringe title yes yeah 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 oh is title still cringe is still around 
it is it is still around <laughs> oh, okay um yeah what if what you say is like what is my favorite album by like my favorite exclusive. artist exclusive it's uh, only to title yeah yeah like that mm, yes how, do, how no, does that I make you feel you. the thing is pirating well yes okay <laughs> that is true. <laughs> Chad, <music>. yes. <laughs> music torrenting. In Minecraft, of course. Easy. In Minecraft. Pretty sweet. Fuck yeah. Okay. What What Pedro, are your concerns, anything? Sean? Because uh, um, you know, I think the well, exclusivity <laughs> th- is bad and stuff. But um, I don't know. It's it, it's an interesting it? question. Because it's like, oh, and, you know, at first I'm like, oh, wouldn't it would be better if it was on Steam. But it's like, at the same time, what's the difference between these, you know, fucking huge corporations to begin with? Yeah, that's you know? what I I'm thinking. It, it doesn't really matter. I mean, but then at, the, yeah, end, exactly. at the end of the day, at the end of the day, what do I hate more? Every game I have on Steam or Fortnite? And that's a very easy <laughs> answer. <laughs> uh, I, I see. hate Fortnite. You know, I do... I do kind of hate Epic Games as well because they killed a, an amazing game called Paragon uh, to make Fortnite to have more people working on Fortnite. They were they were around at the same time, and like Fortnite yeah. blew up, and then they're like, "Oh, fuck this high effort, oh, amazing oh, looking, money. Uh, money. excellent, uh, you know, MOBA. Let's just make this." The, the Listen, characters I don't dance. Know, like, I- Smite. I literally never play video games, but I know that Epic Games release a free game every like week or two weeks. That's pretty cool. Yeah, that's the thing. Because they do that, everyone has like an Epic Games account. Uh, that so is I don't true. know about the. I don't know if the like stigma or headache of oh, it's an Epic Games exclusive. Boo! Like, is that oh, how strong oh. is that these days? I hate it. It's disgusting. <laughs> it's cringe. You literally, you literally just said that you that it didn't matter. <laughs> nah, but that's no. Nah, see, it's a multifaceted issue, Elizar. Okay. Yeah. I, okay. Explain yourself. It, my my hate for this corporation specifically is bigger mm. than the other one. Okay, that's all it comes uh, down to. And and Epic why? Games. Why? Why is it just because of Fortnite? Every franchise, it gets its grummy little hands up and everything all <laughs> because they like not what? only they they only they have they have raped the Kingdom Hearts franchise as if that already wasn't raped enough, and they have Borderlands. They had Borderlands first. Oh, which was that, so fucking I heard annoying. about that. That was people are very upset about that. Yeah. So I, I don't them. get it. Fuck them. Like I. I don't get it. Like you're just giving money to a huge corporation. Like, but fuck it's like, you. but it, but Elizar, but it's a company. Oh, but this corporation is better than this corporation. No, you, okay, you, you, you okay, Elizar, is there a musician you really, really hate? I really, really hate. Yeah. Uh, no, because I really like avant-garde stuff. Hmm. I mean, like, or like, or, it doesn't matter. The point no, is no, no. The exclusivity. And, no, and, uh, no, no, no. I mean, and, uh, like, lots of things. No, but like, wait, Sean, isn't the like, your problem is like you don't want to have to give Epic Games money to play uh, Kingdom Hearts on the PC? Isn't that? The oh, point? I don't even want to be. I don't want them to have it. They. You don't want the, them to the be associated is, with each other. Yes. I, I really like how Kajor needs to translate everything to music. So I, I like this. It. I like. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what do you think of this, Chaco? I mean, okay, I, like I thought Sean was gonna say like I, I think I heard something about like the the cost of like the Kingdom Hearts games like being like way high on Epic Games, but but no, it's just oh that is oh, also true. Oh, they made Fortnite. They uh they ruined uh, Borderlands. <laughs> Uh, yawn, <laughs> yawn. Yeah, Choco, yeah. you get me. You get me, Choco. <laughs> Isn't like the Kingdom Hearts franchise like already ruined? Debatable. I'm optimistic. I would say. What What do you think about the third game? I only know that everyone shit on it. Shut. I think people kind of overly shit on it. I think. I mean, it is like. It is like a as a game from a game standpoint, it is like pretty mid, I would say, and like the the story is obviously very just confusing and convoluted. Like it's un, it's borderline unplayable if you haven't like don't understand the previous games. 
But the th- here's the deal. Here's the deal. You have to watch okay. the, the Remind DLC listening. catapulted this game like into being like e- like S tier, crazy good. Actually, like nine out of ten. Shit. So. Did it really? I believe you. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, uh, hmm. well, you say like, oh, it's unplayable if you haven't played the other games, but I think they expect you expect you to play, you know, the other games. Yeah, it being like a sequel and all. Yes, they are. They they do, you know, give you a hand in making all the other games easy to access, all on the PS4, all in a collection, nonetheless. So yeah, that is true. And now it's all in a collection on the PC. Sorta. <laughs> Sorta. Uh, I I literally don't know what you're like. It's like, oh, I'm not going oh. to eat at McDonald's. They're such an evil company. I'm going to eat at Burger King instead. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm not. not I'm not. I'm not, I'm not, going, I'm not going to buy. Fa- I'm not going to buy fucking Coca Cola. They're fucking ruining the world. Anyways, let me enjoy my Monster Energy drink. It's oh, like, you know. It, it, uh, I don't ooh. even know. Actually, go ahead, Kudra. No, I was gonna. I deviated a little bit because like Eliezer brought up Coca-Cola and Pepsi and that reminded me a friend showed me like we were talking about like competing like brands competing with each other in advertisements and I was like oh yeah I love those like Samsung ads where they shit on Sega DOS or Nintendo but maybe it was you Eliezer there was like some ad where like a kid like that they that they sued over like Pepsi had an ad where like a kid's at a vending machine and he he gets two Coke cans so he, so he can stand on top of them and reach the button <laughs> for the Pepsi can. No, I don't know that. That sounds amazing. <laughs> it's, it's pretty funny. Best advertising ever. <laughs> yeah. Jeez. Now they had to d- uh, take it down. You know, sue. You know, you know that thing about like I don't know. I remember it was Pepsi or Coca Cola were like you. There were. There were prices in like the little the cups of the bottles, and you could oh, you yeah. Oh, yeah yeah it was yeah. like a I heard ten about points heard about or a hundred points, and then like in the commercial they said that oh and if you win ten million points then you can get a fucking jet plane uh, from the military or whatever. Um, <laughs> I was obvi- obviously it was a joke, but yeah. a kid who was a really smart kid um, found out that. I think that something like if you if you had like I don't remember what exactly but something like if you gain enough like of this kind of cups then it multiplies the number. Oh. Uh, so you had like a hundred. So you had like ten of a, a thousand points. So you turn to like a hundred thousand points, something like that. Um, and he he had the thing. He had the, enough points to buy the 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 thing, the plane. <laughs> <laughs> and he fucking went went and demanded for his plane and they, they did a fucking um uh how do you say a trial <laughs> for the fucking kid yeah, <laughs> pepsi versus the kid wait, wait he, trial? Su- he sued them and it was like you owe me uh, a plane yes yes it was exactly that that's amazing and in the My end mind. they they of course they didn't give it a plane and i i think that's when it was born that you you need to clarify in the advertisement, like not real, blah blah blah. This is oh, just is that advertisement. the birth of uh, illegal false advertising? Yeah, exactly. That's, that's cool. It's really funny. You know, you know uh, the fire festival, right? Oh uh, yeah, yeah fire. The fire festival, the oh, the backlog yeah, yeah. of the Where fire all, festival. all like the yeah, rich yeah. Uh, influence influencers went there, and then it was like it was a disaster. It was such a catastrophe. That internet historian made a video about it. And Netflix made yes. a documentary about it. Both worlds. Yeah, there are two documentaries. Hulu and Netflix. They're really good. Th- that's three documentaries. Damn. I think I saw yeah. the internet historian one like ages ago. Because yeah. that was a while ago. I, was uh, a while. I, I watched like I watched Philip DeFranco cover it and it was like, okay, this is all I need to know about this. What's up, you beautiful bastards? <laughs> 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 um... I really like what the there's the the main guy who directed the thing and then the the other main guy is ja Rule, the rapper and they were like discussing after all the debacle went and they were discussing like what to do what to do we're going to fucking get sued we're going we're going to go to jail he's like no 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 it's not uh it's it's not 
how how do, it's not a uh, it's not fraud it's just let's call it false advertisement <laughs> <laughs> great uh totally so yeah don't fall into fucking pyramid schemes um but uh like as elias are you talking about like the whole um coca-cola bottle thing but i think i think i heard something mm -hmm. like very similar but it was like but it was also different like like the thing is um i think in like some south american um country they they did this coca-cola pies where like if you get oh, if you get a bottle cap with a yes. certain number you get like you get like a whole bunch of money so a lot of like poor yes 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 yeah a lot of poor people were buying were buying like a whole bunch of coca-cola and then it was basically lottery with coca-cola yeah yes. yeah and then they they said like they said a certain uh they said a certain number <clears throat> And then, like, a whole bunch of people had that number. So, yeah. and then, so, um, they were like, oh, um, sorry, it's not this number, it's, uh, the other number, lol, it's just a prank. And then, um... Bruh. Yeah, they said a number, like, 385, and, like, thousands of people had 385 because they fucked up on the, on the thing. People, and then people <laughs> rioted, <laughs> man. People, people protested. And, uh, I, yeah, there was, like, a court case involving that, too. Yeah, and they never gave it the money. They never gave. It, they never gave it the money. Fucking so yeah, so yeah. Epic Games team, they're all assholes. Yeah. Fuck them More mega the corporations. I'm gonna eat them. <laughs> were you ever like, do you any of you like know any people, or, or were you close to fall into a scheme? Um, hmm. I don't think so. No. Because I just recently visited my friend. And he 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 must have been real desperate <laughs> because there was a guy like oh yeah be be your own boss from home work from home and work fucking blah, blah. and he fucking yeah. clicked on the link <laughs> oh he did <laughs> yeah <laughs> and he had a fucking meeting with a guy from like Colombia or something and uh, but luckily like it was like a one hour meeting where the guy basically said nothing. Like, yeah, 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 just just work for us and blah, 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 you know, you, you just need us to end to, to work for us. You just need a small fee of uh, fucking like uh, 500 pesos. And if you don't have it, then uh, and he said like, oh, well, I, I don't have money right now. So that's why I'm looking for a job. And he was like, oh, no, don't worry. Don't worry. I'll I'll, um, I'll borrow you the money. Oh. Uh, I'll give you I'll lend you the money. Don't oh, worry. No. Uh, and he luckily he was uh, smarter than that and he said uh, no thank you and closed the Zoom application <laughs> <laughs> uh, he was so close yeah closest for me for any scam stuff I believe God, a long time ago I, I might have been in like elementary or middle school but my grandpa I remember offloaded us this really like shitty old laptop that must have just been ridden with fucking viruses and stuff because like mm. the uh the mouse pointer was like different like it was like some flashy <laughs> weird shit like you, you guys know what i'm talking about like yeah, he, clicked yeah, yeah, on yeah. Those, he definitely clicked on those scams of like change your you oh make your browser pointer look like this look like you know like some crazy <laughs> wacky quirky like bullshit so yeah uh so yeah kids don't fall for any scams be smart than that. Oh, get a fucking job okay get a fucking job <laughs> the uh i mean i get like dm'd like some crypto scam like every day but uh you yeah. just like i just like ignore and block them but like the the funniest is like you don't do you remember that big twitter bitcoin scam that happened where like everyone's accounts no. or like okay so like big huge accounts started saying like hey send me your bitcoin and i'll give you back double <laughs> and, and people oh did God. it and like i don't oh know but God. but it was tweeted out but like it was uh it was like someone who worked at twitter who went uh completely rogue and like but he actually did it or did he get hacked no 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 he did it he actually did a guy he was from the twitter hacker. yeah oh my god i'm i'm pretty sure i'm like not, i'm like no, no 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 oh i know what it was okay it was a hacker guy, and he got access to a Twitter admin guy's uh, account. Mm. Yes. Well, 
Wasn't yes. Elon Musk account yeah, hacked? Yeah, no. That was yeah, that was it. No, it was like because was he was a thing, Twitter right? admin, he could. Oh my god! Like that was the sp- scariest part of the thing was that because you're they were a Twitter admin, they can like edit people's tweet, anyone's tweets. They can make Ugh. them tweet from their account. Like it's because it's centralized. Bruh. They can it's post too much power. Yeah, too much power. Oh my god! Like they they had like screenshots of like the you know like the dev account what it lets you do. Literally, they had like. It was showing the Elon Musk tweet, the you know, because they tweeted out as Elon Musk, you know. They just go to their account, and then at the next to like, it's like the normal website, but instead of like all the normal options, there's like more buttons. And it's like edit, uh, you know, post new tweet for other people's accounts. Mm. So you could, you know, so, but oh wait, so but like everyone in crypto was like super confused and like uh, kind of laughing about it because like this is the dumbest worst um hack scam you could do yeah but it's so simple that people will fall for it <laughs> but it's it's too basic like okay he just puts an address and he's like here and like every single account that said this like fucking elon musk actors uh you know jeff like jeff bezos like i think I think Joe Biden also said it. No, it wasn't Joe Biden. Some, some like politicians too. Like everyone was saying, like big, like verified accounts were saying this. And then in the yeah. end, uh, he only got like a hundred and thirty thousand dollars sent to him. But even only. that, it's like, yeah, I know. <laughs> oh, like you say only. As, okay, I say only because like as far as hacks like this go, like the potential, like that's that is a. I mean, you yeah, failed like, hacker school. On- kiddo for how but Jeff also Bezos it's like Musk, that's how like are people little. that dumb the like oh yeah just just give me your money bro yeah i and feel I'll like give you double back i feel like if you're like if you're if you're that dumb try that naive to do that i feel like i don't know man i don't know i can't feel that bad you kind of serve it, yeah. serve it. <laughs> maybe maybe your money's better off in their pocket uh, it was just people who like just finished re- 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 watching a video on YouTube about Karl Marx, and they're like, "Oh my God, yes, communism is real, it's real, it's real, <laughs> keep, 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 keep." They're finally giving back. They're finally giving back. Oh, yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, no, 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 I agree so, with you, Sean. Bad company, huge companies, but they have too much power. Yeah, no, the Twitter yeah. thing is crazy. But no, but not but, because of Epic Games, but just because one company can has can have it all. Like yeah. Fucking Disney. Then Kinda, like bro. no no so like so crypto guys were like yo this guy totally fucked up you know what he could have done he could have shorted Bitcoin we know what like everybody knows what that is now <laughs> I would have had to explain it but now we live in a world where more people than ever know what that means uh, can you explain for me because I'm dumb oh okay perfect because it was badly explained when you guys talked about it on that episode uh, okay so Eliezer. <laughs> See, normally with a stock or a crypto or an asset, what you want to do is huh. you want to buy, you want to buy low, and then the price goes up, and then you sell it when of it's course. high, right? Unless yes. you're a moron like Ben Saint, but yeah, <laughs> yeah. So, so that that you know, some people call that going long. Uh, huh. So shorting is like you take the same philosophy, like you want to buy it low and sell it high. Like you want to do that, but you do it in the reverse order. So what you do mm. is you borrow the asset or the stock or the cryptocurrency. You like through, you have to like, you don't have to borrow it from someone who owns it. So you have to go through like an intermediary, like a, like a brokerage or whoever. So you huh. ask your broker guy or whoever is like, hey, let me short this stock. Like, so they, so they take it out of someone else's account. It's like a loan. You borrow their asset. You sell it immediately. And then when the price goes down, you buy it back, give it back, and keep the profit that you made. Sounds like a, sounds like a glitch in the matrix. <laughs> right? Okay, l- let, me, let me illustrate an example. Let's say, let's say you have like... A, a golden apple that costs a hundred dollars. Yes. And then 
Uh, you think the price is going to go down. Okay, no, wait, you don't have it. You think the price of golden apples is going to go down. It's currently $100. Hmm. So you call your broker guy. He's like, hey, hey, uh, I want to short a golden apple. So he goes, gets someone else's golden apple out of their fucking account, gives it to you. You sell the golden apple. You get a, You have $100. Hmm. You have $100. You owe this guy a golden apple. The price of golden apples goes down to to eighty dollars. So you buy a golden apple for eighty dollars and give the golden apple back to the guy. You just made twenty dollars. Sounds is that legal? It, it's not only legal. Uh, people do it all the time. That's Everyone, a, like a hedge girl, funds. Um, ba- you know how just, uh, some people just move around money for a living, Eliezer. Yeah. It's stuff like this. Kajuro, do you want to have a, a little DM chat after this? <laughs> <laughs> okay, wait, what was I, where was I going this? Oh yeah, no. So he could have du- he could have shorted Bitcoin and then gone to the Twitter account of every crypto exchange, every Bitcoin like tr- crypto exchange CEO, all of the big wig crypto guys, and say like, "We're being raided by the SEC. Your funds are not safe. Uh, it's it's <laughs> all it's all doomed. Uh, fucking the FBI is here. <laughs> if only. If uh, only. and it, and then it fucking tanks, and that guy is just like instant instant millionaire, easily, mm, easily, easily. That would have been amazing. And because, but it was oh, yeah. probably like some Indian guy or some fucking. Whatever. No, it's some guy from Florida. Oh really? Of yeah, course. yeah, no. Oh, that's another thing. People think like, oh, bit- Bitcoin's bad. Bitcoin's used for crimes. It's like because it's like anonymous. No, it's not. It's not at all. Like, if you have if you have someone's address, you literally copy the address, put it in a what's called a a block explorer you can see every transaction they ever made lol <laughs> so they so and like every every big uh, verified account was tweeting out the same address it's like hey send us money send us money send us money and i'll give you double back so the so the fucking feds just took that address put it in a block explorer <laughs> called up the exchange like hey you guys the, this guy had to like give you id to like buy shit right what uh where does he fucking live oh he lives Oof. in florida oh cool thanks <laughs> they <laughs> caught him in like two days this is like the worst black mirror episode i ever. know <laughs> i know it was the it was the dumb it was the worst hack ever uh fake crypto scam bros yeah, we just got too that. cocky mm, they just keep losing they just keep losing they just keep losing <laughs> Versus uh, me, the chat buying gold. Yes, yes, I have a golden <laughs> house. Yes. <laughs> Why are you being so uh, rich that you eat gold? Ugh. Someone tried to Disgusting. smuggle gold um, uh, through a plane, like on a plane. Like you, you have to, you have to pay taxes if you like move, if you're like traveling with carrying a bunch of gold. Um, so uh, you can one can only guess where they hid it. It, it was a guy. Yeah. And uh, obviously, you know, <laughs> airport security uses metal detectors. They're like, bro, yeah. you got a lot of metal on you somewhere. Uh, you got to take it out from where it is. <laughs> Whatever it is. from. <laughs> and, <laughs> and? And they did. He had he had like a kilo. It was a lot. It was like, oh, my God. It was like it was an gold? insane amount of gold. Yeah, in his butt. Gold? Damn. Oh, my God. What if, what if my, That's why my I, wife... Was a, a dictator in a country, and she was killed. Kim Jong Un's sister. Well, well, what what if my wife was Hitler? Um, just use Hitler as, as every time as a great hypothetical. And like, um, her her image is completely like censored. Uh, but I love her so much that when I go to airports, I I hide a. Uh, a locket with her with a picture of her in my ass. Hmm. <laughs> I mean, hey, no, that's the thing. Metal. That's the thing. A locket's too small. They'd be like, yeah, yeah, whatever. You know? <laughs> but 
Yeah, 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 you call me. <laughs> yeah, like big chunks, like I'm, they let people with like braces and stuff go through just fine. Like if you had like big chunks of gold up your butt, yeah, no, I don't, I think they'll figure it out. But. So yeah, Choco, you are young blood. Do you have anything yeah. to talk about? Well, yeah, it does relate to being young. Um, You know, uh, you guys were talking about. I'm old. <laughs> you guys were talking about. I mean, you did the biggest problem episode, you know, and I didn't come up with the problem. Uh, yeah. Oh wait, did you did you guys even do like call-ins for that one? No, I did not. No. Even then, I didn't come up with the problem in time. But like, um, I was just thinking of one now. It's um, uh, well, I mean, I had I have two, but I talked about one earlier, so I'll say the other one. So basically, mm-hmm. like. You know, whenever you're like, you know, you're talking about that, you, there's like a podcast or something or like someone's talking, someone's talking about like specifically an old like game or like just a piece of media. And then like, yeah, you know, um, yeah. so, well, spe- specifically on podcasts, people there, one there say there's one guy, he's like, okay, uh, we're going to talk about Final Fantasy seven. And then the other guy's like, oh, uh, spoilers. And um, they say that one line. Come on, bro. It's like a 30-year-old game. If you haven't played it by now, I don't know what to tell you. But <laughs> I know. I know. Part of those I was I was I barely know. even alive for part of those 30 years, man. Just cut cut the zoomer yeah, some slack, bro. Yeah, like, I'm please. not a fucking cons- all all boomer consumer yes, like you. Man. Fuck you. <laughs> Oh, yeah. how haven't you played it by now? It's an it's an iconic game. It's considered one of the best games of all time. How have you still not beat the original Final Fantasy VII? I mean, I mean, <laughs> like, I, 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 I don't I don't I don't remember like what DGB out of the ten B ten DGB I've seen in my life. Um, she was like, oh yeah, because uh, Evangelion has influence from fucking Gundam because in the end, uh, fucking. Um, also spoilers. Yeah, spoilers. Yeah. <laughs> oh no. We, we, I don't want to be a hypocrite. Spoilers for Evangelion and Gundam. Uh, yeah, because both in Evangelion and Gundam, uh, everyone dies at the end. Yeah. Like, what the fuck? Like, check the comments, and someone's like, "Hey, what the fuck? You spoil Evangelion and Gundam?" And and, and she was like, "Oh, but it's a, it's like a thirty-year-old anime. Yeah, everyone please, should should watch please, it right now." <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> fuck it's you. Like- the, zo- the Zoomers are out here, man. Like, you're blaming us for not being born earlier. Yeah. I mean, that's what that's what fucking Doomers and Boomers like to do. They, they, expect, they expect us to come out of the womb saying, uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> we, we learn it. We learn it over time, people. No, no, no you come out from the womb and say, what the fuck is this shit? I want to go back to the womb. Uh, all good, new bad. Uh, fuck. Uh, <laughs> we'll be saying the same thing in like 10 years. What do no, you mean you, know, you haven't played Pokemon Platinum or Black and White? No. What do no, you mean? No, Sean, that's I'm, I'm, just true. No, I'm already I'm like that with with all of you. I haven't played Pokemon. <laughs> I haven't played Kingdom Hearts, Final Fantasy. I'm playing nothing. <laughs> I've, but I feel like, like I feel like people have always been like that. I talked about this uh, with Rito once. It's like when Ava came out. There probably a good chunk of people when it came out. It's like, oh, it's fucking cliche, bro. Oh, what a fucking this guy. Oh yeah, he. Oh, we're a fucking Tomino fan. This fucking going a guy fan jerking himself off. Oh yeah, fucking uh, a whole anime episode out of markers oh, I've and seen pencils. It. Uh, what a fucking copycat. Oh, and like, oh, he he made a whole movie end of Ava Gay. A uh, fucking lame. <laughs> seen it. Going a guy oh. did it better. <laughs> And then we, and then you, know, a couple, wait a couple of generations, like, oh my god, like Ava, fucking classic, oh, so fucking revolutionary, oh, oh, oh. small tit girls, yes, yes. So nothing <laughs> is original. That, that is that's true. That's clear. That is true. No, no thing ever. Ben, Ben was right on that. He's been right all these years, ever since episode fucking like one or whatever, when he said yeah. that. No, 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 wait, 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 okay, what Ben says, nothing is original, which is true philosophically true but what yeah, but he, he was saying is that it fucking uh, he was really annoyed about reference to things in other media he thinks like it brings it down a notch if there's a reference to another thing in the media which is dumb just yeah, generalize he, it like he that. says yeah. he says nothing's original but he he puts a high price tag or uh, like high value on something seeming original or like being yeah. like out of the ordinary or like 
deviating from I, I don't know um what else? wait what was I gonna say about that oh yeah no in we had for one one of my classes we actually had to read a book called steal like an artist which uh <laughs> Yeah, no, it teaches you about how, like, originality doesn't exist, and you should just, like, the, the, I, like, something being original just means it's, like, it's derived from enough different things that it feels original, or, like, it, it, like, melds into, like, its own voice, and, like. Yeah, like, it, uh, personal, like, experience and knowledge has a lot to do with that. Yeah. Let me see if I can find it. It's it's a it's a really small like book. It's not. It's pretty like cool. people people will be like, oh yeah, Death Grips is so original. They they they're so aggressive. They scream so much. And I was like, yeah. <laughs> I mean, Do you know wait, about uh, per- divorced parents? Yeah, fuck you. El- <laughs> <laughs> wait, Elizar, don't they don't they say that about music too? Though they say like every new music genre is just like a like a de-evolution of like an older music genre uh that is true but music there's like it's so free form like there's so much wider than fucking anime or movies nah um there's like a lot of original things and like you probably even in my lifetime i won't listen to like every genre in in quotes of music I can assure you, I, I, I will listen to Lollicor, though. I guess I don't value originality that much, you know? Like, I'd rather see better execution of a concept rather than it being a quote-unquote original concept. Like, you know? Back to the Future, it's not that I mean, original, but it, the things it does, like, the thing that it does that have been established in, like, a million years, or, like, Star Wars... Like, they, they're not original, but you just do the things that have been done... Oh so so well i got the book um the very first page says uh art is theft quote by pablo picasso fuck Um, yeah yeah pablo picasso base second page immature poets imitate mature poets steal bad poets deface what they take and good poets make it into something better or at least something different. The good poet welds his theft into a whole whole of feeling which is unique, utterly different from that which it was torn. By T S said T. S. Eliot. You know who yeah. I think of by you saying that? Jesse. Oh. <laughs> yeah. What do you mean? Because he, he he Horseshoe finale, right? Great example of that. Mm. You know, taking like parodying things and taking things and elevating them. Mm. You know, not yes. not just not either making it worse or just doing it exactly the same. Almost in a way, elevating it. Yeah, yes. you know, because yeah, Jesse's probably a good example because he too is like a combination of like of like things that you wouldn't expect to see together or don't see together that much. Like, he's fucking MLP wrestling, uh, just, like, ran- like Bill Burr-style ranting. Um, <laughs> <laughs> occasional anime a- analysis. Uh, like, he's... It's, like, all of that mishmashed into one person. Like, yeah, that's, like, unique-seeming and interesting. By the way, for any, any ignorance <laughs> in the audience, we're talking about the YouTuber... Known as Endless Jazz. <laughs> <laughs> Bruh, who, who are case, these fools, In case man, anyone better, doesn't know. Uh, I'm doing the meme. I'm doing the meme right now. Uh, Jesse's <laughs> been out and making content for so many years. How do you not know who he is? What the heck? <laughs> yeah, fuck you, Sean. <laughs> Dang. You're, you're a boomer in heart, Sean. I'm sorry. There's no saving you. Deep down, you are, Sean. That's a bad take. It's beca- it's becoming true. We'll all be, we'll all as be it does boomers one day. One day they'll be saying yeah. "Okay, Zoomer" no. instead of "Okay, Boomer." No, no, never. <laughs> I will all I will be I will, when I grow up. I will be George Harrison, a Saint God. <laughs> I will be ma- oh, making yeah. yoga twenty four seven in my mind. I, I find more. Zoom. I find more you quotes. Can't stop me. <laughs> what is originality? Undetected plagiarism said. 
William Ralph Ing. <laughs> you know, these quotes are not very like, uh, what is art, but They're too stealing on the from point. your favorite artist. They're too in the, oh, here, okay, here's an, a good one. It's a quote by Jay Z. We were, we were kids without fathers, dot, dot, dot. So we found our fathers on wax and on the streets and in history. We got to pick and choose the ancestors who would inspire the world we were going to make for ourselves. Whoa. Damn. Dropping truth as always. There should be a quote saying, What is art but tracing? <laughs> I'm doing that right now. I mean,. <laughs> I'm, tra- I'm tracing myself though so it's okay <laughs> i'm tracing myself um, here's the thing like even like even like people who say like like there are like extreme people who are like oh even like using a ref like using a reference for art is like copy in the end when you when you're like you're i mean it's like in the end when you're like thinking of something it's like you are what what, what where, where was i going with this um you're you're using you're using your own memory of the thing as like a reference like even yeah. even yeah. if you yeah. even if you don't yeah, think that you're copying something people, it's just like it'll it's like it can be ingrained in you yeah it's just subconscious unconscious yeah like it fucking uh, life imitates art and art imitates life like yeah just have fun with it. Just don't stop putting limits on art. It's supposed to be freeing. It's the most freeing activity a human can make. People people not using, uh, like, referring to things that already exist, like, are shooting themselves in the foot. And like we said, you know, they're just doing it subconsciously. They're realizing. Yeah. Like, work, work smart instead of working hard. Yeah. Take something you like, perhaps. Spin it in your own way. Take something you like, <laughs> press Ctrl C, and then press Ctrl B, and there you go. Okay, we need if you another... want to be cool, you can cite your sources. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. Yeah, okay. the, the, name, the name of my next album will be just Citing Sources. Yeah, The Beatles, uh, Radiohead. Um, Ooh, yeah. it's, a, <laughs> just, it's, it's a concept just, album. Name. It's just you saying their names really close <laughs> That's each The track. Beatles, Radiohead, The Clash, Talking Heads. Okay, oh, I know those. I know those. Okay, before, before we leave, Clash because. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Roundabout. Um, to finish this off. Um, uh, are you familiar with the concept of so bad it's good music? Uh, I know that in like, I know the so bad. I don't know about so bad it's good in music. I felt that for like movies. Well, yeah, like movies, uh, for example, like The Room or fucking Troll Two. Yes. And there is that for um for music. You know, since music is like so easy to make, like one guy just can make a can make a song mm. instead of a movie which takes like a uh, fucking dozens and dozens or hundreds of people to make and um, there's this oh. artist that i'm looking at right now yeah speak please oh no i you know let, let, i'll let you finish i know how to like sp- like stretch this into something else a little bit okay so i want this to be the i want this to be the the ending song of the of the podcast uh, is Wesley Willis which was a guy who uh, had schizophrenia and I don't know what other um, mental how do you say it right now What's, well, he's uh, illness he's whacked mental out. illness yes he's off his um, <laughs> he's he made schizo. he made music and he, he literally just like you know, like keyboards, like you can just, they are like preset songs that you can play right, on keyboards. Right. He made yeah. music with those presets, nothing else. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and they like, uh, like, there are like, I know, 50 songs that have like the same instrumental. <laughs> and mm-hmm. all the songs have the same, the same structure of him uh, shouting and talking about the topic of the, of the, the thing. Like in Rock and Roll McDonald's, his most famous song. He's like, McDonald's is a place you go to buy food. 
you eat that food. And then you can look at other people eating that food. Um, <laughs> and and oh, he, he always ends up his songs with like uh, uh, saying a, a, a quote. How do you say those things? From the Ooh, from brands uh, slogan, from France. Yeah, slogan. It will oh, always ends yeah, up no. saying slogans from brands. Um, and he's really cool, and I want that to be the ending of the podcast. Oh, that's okay. because I got reminded of that of me just screaming, Radiohead, Talking Heads. It was <laughs> just like McDonald's is a place where you go to eat. The food is really good. Yeah, you know, eating the act of eating. To me, is personally disgusting. Okay, Hugh head. You, you okay. Guys had some oh yeah, you're Quick. you're real Hugh, bro. I Hugh forgot to rip, rip it off, boys. Just eat. What a name. Just eat, bro. Let's get it. Let's let's get it going. Let's, oh yeah, no. What I was fucking, gonna say is, yeah. Uh, what do you how how much do you guys like? You know, when you you like consume a piece of media and people are like oh is it good was it bad was like what do you think of it and you like you like you like try to be objective but you know you know you don't like you don't have to like stick to that or whatever how much do you guys factor like just like you enjoyed it as uh determining it to be like good or bad hi that was literally me explaining kingdom hearts earlier i <laughs> Like uh, you see, you are what you're saying is like putting may, making a difference between something being good and something that I enjoy. Mm -hmm. uh, I think they are the same because guilty pleasures don't exist. Right, like, like uh, ironic con consuming something ironically is just still consuming. You're still consuming it, so you're still yeah. liking it. Okay, let me let me do this with an example. <laughs> so the anime fairy uh, tale, right? <laughs> <laughs> Anytime it's brought up, I have to, I have to kind of like, you know, shrug and be like, yeah, yeah, it's 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 mostly bad, you know, it's got these problems. Where it's like, and I'm like, yeah, you know, but I still, I still like uh, same, it. Same, same means something to me because like I watched it as same, a kid, same. bro. And <laughs> yeah but like i i feel like part of me is like why do i keep disclaiming this shit like me it's because like i don't want to like argue and defend it f defend it from people but that's another thing like what do you think of the like people are like oh you know you just have like bad taste bro or like i have good taste <laughs> like what do you think of like uh, taste? it's, it's and literally the, like the, it's what do you think of the dune it's Kun moronic Rido, like Digi, it's bro. literally moronic uh, like uh, fuck you like better things bro uh smokes a cigar like, uh, uh, thinking what something hat, like thinking that something wine. like saying that something it's like i was i i, I have a problem with this because my favorite the uh, youtube uh, music uh, man uh, Velocity is music. They're like amazing uh, music reviewers. I love them. Uh, but they always make a difference between something that they like and something that is good. I always disagree with them because it's saying uh, that uh, you like yeah, something. Oh, yeah, yeah, I really didn't like this, but it's really good. Like, no, you're just like pretending to know what everyone likes, which is your definition yeah. of good. And just saying that everyone likes it except you, so therefore it's good. No, that's, that's no, it's moronic, stupid. You don't know what other people think, and you, like taste is just a really personal thing based on both, like literally everything your personal experience, your knowledge, how you were born, if you're brown or white, you know, important things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shout, shout out to Doniba, who's gonna edit this hopefully. Uh, I, I genuinely like Kaguya sama, it's a very good anime. Fuck you, <laughs> yes, Kaguya yes, fuck Rito. Rito. it's good. Uh, smoke, smoke, cigar. Oh, Evangelion, Evangelion's been out for for like almost 30 years, bro. Haven't you, haven't you seen it? How haven't you seen it yet, man? Yeah. Oh my God! You know the other day, I, the, 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 this is what the happens. Other day I talked to my to my um, one year old uh, cousin. I was like, "How the fuck do you not watch Evangelion, bro?" While I was smoking and puffing, uh, smoking his face. <laughs> oh my God! When I yeah. when I was um, talking to my 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 grand like when I was like wishing my granddad happy birthday like in like a WhatsApp video call like my little cousin was it was it like in the back like he's like my youngest cousin he's like he's like 
he's like 10 or 8 you know he's way younger than that he's like 7 or 8 or something uh, so he's like you know everyone's like oh your hair's gotten so long oh, but it look, <laughs> but like it looks good now and like he he said like yeah, yeah you look like Bob Marley I was like you, you know who that is and I'm like <laughs> And then he, and then he literally, he literally r- leaves. He fucking sprints out the room, and like, di- like from like my granddad's, like my granddad, like ho- like keeps everything he's ever owned. He digs out like an old like vinyl with like Bob Marley on it, and he like puts it up, and he's like, see, see, and it's like, haha, yeah. I mean, to be to be true, Kajoro, I hope you're not offended by this. I but don't. You look more like, like Bob you look more like a brown Bob Dylan. <laughs> yeah, um, that probably makes more sense. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, Choco, I think Cho- we're reaching cl- yeah. we're reaching close to the to the to the limit. There was something you wanted to oh, say. Oh yeah. Right? Also, um, Early? yeah, already. I I think I have I talked about this in VC, but like also one of my pet peeves. Um, what like um, video? It's just like um like. Well, video essayists, like, say, like, or reviewers say, like, after the game is, like, after they, like, ripped into the game, like, it's, like, a whole, like, it's a whole, like, criticism of the game. They'll say something like, oh, um, oh, uh, more power to you. Oh, I know what yeah, you're more but power it's really to good. you, man. Like, if you like this game, I sure don't think you're retarded or anything, of course. <laughs> of course not. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, they rip it to shreds and they're just, like... Oh, but you know, if you like it, yeah, like they say, like, oh, I don't know how anyone could like this game. Oh my god, this is so stupid. If you only, um, only um, people who've seen five anime like this anime, and then they'll say, oh, uh, more power to you, yeah, Uh, more power to you, more power to you. (laughs) Wasn't there like in a Donkey video where there was like, I think I'm, oh, a Donkey Kong game for the DS, like he was, or the Wii. Was saying that he really liked it, and there was a reviewer that was like, you know, the mechanics are really not good. The and then cutting into editing all the bad things he said. Oh yeah, the the you know the level designs are like really bad. Like you can barely tell where you have to go. And like all ripping it, and then at the end's like, anyways, <laughs> nine out of ten. <laughs> of fucking course. And of course it was IGN. Fucking fucking Meg Mega Corp. Yeah, I don't know who IGN is. I just know they're big, so they're probably bad. <laughs> <laughs> International. Uh, I only gamer. listen to Network. fucking Wesley Willis. Play Wesley Willis, Nibra, right now. This is the end of the podcast. Bye bye. Thank you very run. much. Everyone uh, say yeah, bye. 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 It is a good place to listen to the Should have been on this episode, Rito. Yes.